Hello, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator, Eric McRae. I'm here today to uh, talk to you about the power of completing tasks, of the power of finishing things. Um, so often creative people are moved by what you would call the muse or environmental conditions or temperament. And they, they or they're obsessed with perfection. And it was the old saying, perfection is the enemy of the good. And too often this perfectionism, um, this procrastination, um, this lack of discipline or lack of order leads to a lack of productivity. Thus, the artist then has these big gaps where nothing's really getting done. They're just constantly spinning wheels. Uh, you know, I was working with an artist one time and we were working on a project and the guy just couldn't get stuff done. And um, we were... And I said, this is like going to see Star Wars, and and they're 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 taking off to go fly to fight the Death Star, and then the movie ends. Well, we all know they go off and fight the Death Star, and, and the explosion and all this stuff. So part of the, the the movie isn't the movie. You need the whole movie to tell the story, and and when it comes to making art, a bunch of pieces started or a bunch of pictures taken that aren't. Um, ever developed and, and, and shown or uh, good intentions in whatever kind of creative endeavor are just good intentions. They aren't really anything final, complete, and, and ready to present it to the world. Uh, you as a creative person must, must push yourself and develop a level of discipline. I, I have so much respect for athletes and soldiers because so much of their mission and their task is about completion, about getting it done, pushing through the pain, pushing through obstacles. Um, person who isn't necessarily driven by inspiration as much as they're driven by discipline. Uh, the famous painter Chuck Close said, inspiration comes first and then it's time to go to work. So you may get this brilliant idea, but if you don't put the piece together, it will never come to fruition. Thus, I am a firm believer in setting finite goals, setting timelines, uh, working in series and determining a specific time that you're going to try to get something done. I'm going to do 12 paintings in 12 years. It's not 12 years. Lord, don't take that long. 12 paintings in 12 months, meaning I get 12 paintings done in a year. That's not a lot of work, but that's more than you started with, thus you are ahead in the game. So you have to find ways to make things work. And we can always find excuses of, oh, my, my spouse is so demanding, my, my partner, my children, my job. I mean, and we, if you really scrutinize your day, you will find there's so much fluff and waste in there and hours. I, you can spend 45 minutes just scrolling through what potentially you could potentially look at on Netflix. I have done that and then fallen asleep on the couch, scrolling through all the options on Netflix. And I thought like, what a waste of my time. Why am I doing this? Make a decision and look at something. But if you're gonna entertain yourself, make a time to entertain. But to just aimlessly waste time is not how you get things done. So you must structure your time. You must make decisions. You must get things done. At a certain point, you have to bring things to a completion. You cannot just meander around and have a, a stack of work in the corner or a desk full of good intentions, uh, a, a desk full of potential, a studio full of possibilities. The, that, that doesn't change the world. You, you can't put that on your resume as an accomplishment with all your good intentions. You have to complete the task. And don't wait for a, bun a bunch of attaboys because you tried. You know, where I, I, I used to always hear trying is a, another word for you. Basically, you, you failed. I mean, you did or you didn't. Tried is what a lot of people like to make excuses use. Well, I tried this and I tried that. And aren't you going to pat me on the back because I tried? But, you know, I'm not going to pat you on the back because you tried. I pat you on the back for what you accomplished. Even if you did a poor job at it, at least you have something to show. And then at that point, you can assess and determine what the next step is toward in your improvement. So I'm going to be, you know, give you a little bit of tough love and tell you out there who are procrastinating, get to work. Stop screwing around. And um, 
and uh, whatever your discipline is. I mean, this is just for painters. It could be a songwriter, uh, a poet, a, a novelist, an architect, a landscape architect. Gee, I don't, you know, it doesn't really matter. This, this is an all-purpose message. You know, get to work, set your goals, get on it, and, and and write some stuff down. Set finite goals and timelines to get things accomplished. Otherwise, you will look up and years will pass, and you'll realize you really didn't accomplish much. And something my mentor told me, it was so brilliant. He said, Eric, when I leave this world, people will know I've been here because I would have left so much stuff here that I created that, that represent my living. And for me, my art represents my living. It represents me being here and my, my mortality and my humanity. So that may be a little lofty for you and you're just something you, you paint or create or do whatever you do on the side as a hobby or just some kind of pastime. Regardless, if you're gonna, if you know you're gonna be in it, be in it to win it. And get in there and actually have something to show. You know, I'm gonna stop here. But bottom line, get up from looking at this video and get to work. I'm sure there's somebody out there right now say, Eric, you're stepping on my toes. Yes, I'm stepping on your toes. I'm talking to you. You right there, you know who you are. Get to work. Not being rude, I'll do the the Bill Clinton, Obama kind of thing with the thumb, you know. You get to work. So um, get it done. And if this information, this content is really helping you, is pushing you, just imagine what it can do for others. So share it. I'm on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those platforms. And you can see these videos on my YouTube channel at Eric McRae. Uh, you can see it on Facebook and also on LinkedIn. And uh, you can go to my website, ericmcrae.com. And um, so keep in touch and keep sharing the content. Please like and subscribe. If you want to make comments, you have questions, please comment below. Take care. Bye.